In this video, we are going to learn how to solve problems involving motion under gravity for your jam physics. So we are going to practice with seven repeated questions for this topic. Alright, so let's get started. This is the first question. It says a ball is released from a height of 125 meters above the ground. The time taken to reach the ground is okay. So for this particular question, basically the formula we're going to apply to solve this kind of question is one of the formulas for getting time of flight so it will be we have to calculate the time so t will be square root of 2h over g okay so as usual the parameters for this question we have our height to be 1 to 5 meter and uh, we have the acceleration due to gravity to be 10 meter per second square okay so when you plug in in this expression we're going to have t will be square root of 2 times 1 2 5 over 10 so we're going to have square root of now 1 2 5 times 2 you're going to have 250 over 10 this will cancel this so you are left with square root of 25 which will give you what 5 seconds so the correct option this question is option d it's as simple as this let's write this now and solve the next repeated question for this topic all right so the next repeated question we're going to practice with will be this question it says in free fall a body of mass 1 kg drops from a height of 1 to 5 meter from rest in 5 seconds how long will it take another body of mass 2 kg to fall from rest from the same height so we have acceleration due to gravity to be 10 meter per second square okay so guys looking at this question it's just simple physics logic to apply now the correct option to this question will be 5 seconds as well it will take the body of mass 2 kg to fall from rest on the same height 5 seconds okay the reason it will be 5 seconds is that the time it takes for an object to fall from a certain height under the influence of gravity is independent of its mass this is because the force of gravity acting on the object is proportional to its mass and therefore the acceleration of the object due to gravity is constant a body of mass 2 kg will take the same amount of time to fall from the same height as a body of mass 1 kg which is 5 seconds all right so the correct option on this question is option c it will still take 5 seconds for a body of mass 2 kg so that's it for this question let's go to the next question repeated question all right so the next repeated question will be this question it says a bullet fired vertically upwards from a gun held 2 meter above the ground which is its maximum height in 4 seconds calculate its initial velocity alright so for this question let's get our parameters we have our distance x to be 2 meter we have our time t to be 4 seconds we have our acceleration due to gravity g to be 10 meter per second square and we are looking for the initial velocity calculate its initial velocity u is unknown our final velocity will be 0 meter per second okay because at maximum height when your body as the bullet is fired vertically upward at its maximum height the final velocity will be zero okay so we're going to apply this equation of motion to solve with b equals to u plus a t since you are dealing with motion under gravity and the bullet is fired vertically upward is going against gravity it will now be v equals u minus this minus in fact that is going against gravity all right our a will now be g t so when you plug in the values you're going to have zero equals u minus acceleration in the gravity is 10 times our time is 4 seconds so when you break this down you're going to have 0 equals u minus 40 make use of the formula 
this minus 4 equals over change to positive so our initial velocity will be 40 meter per second so correct option this question is option b all right so that's it for this question let's wipe this now and solve the next repeated question all right so the next repeated question will be this question it says if it takes an object three seconds to fall freely to the ground from a certain height what is the distance covered by the object okay so in this question we have our parameters we have our t to be 30 seconds we have our starvation the gravity g to be 10 meter per second square we are looking for the distance x is unknown so we are going to apply this equation of motion which is x equals x stands for the distance equals ut plus half a t square okay so that's the equation of motion we're going to apply now we are dealing with gravity let's look at the question again if it takes an object three seconds to fall freely to the ground so in this question we have our initial velocity u will be zero meter per second okay so for these parameters we have and the object is falling since it's falling it's not going against gravity it's responding to gravity so this plus sign not change the negative it will remain a plus sign so our distance now x will be initial velocity is zero that zero times our time is three plus half now our a is acceleration in gravity which is 10 okay times our three square all right so when we break this down we're going to have x equals 0 times 3 is 0 so we're going to have x equals now 3 square will give you 9 okay 9 times 10 will give you 90 so we're going to have 90 over 2 divide both sides so this will give you what 45 meter and that will be the answer to this question the correct option is option b 45 meter that will be the distance all right, so that's it for this question. Let's wipe this now. Solve the next repeated question. Okay, so the next repeated question will be this question. It says two balls X and Y weigh five gram and fifty kilogram respectively. They are thrown up vertically at the same time with a velocity of hundred meter per second. How will their positions be one second later? Now, guys, take note of this particular question. I've often seen this question repeated. So let's solve. We have to use all this question. Let's get our parameters in the question. So in this question, you see, since two balls we are thrown up vertically, it shows that the final velocity will be zero meter per second. Okay. Now when you are dealing with questions of motion under gravity and you in the question you are seeing that an object is thrown vertically once you see vertically thrown if you register in your mind that the final velocity will be zero all right whereas when the ball is being thrown down it should register in your mind that the initial velocity will be zero the opposite of it when thrown up the final velocity will be zero when thrown down the initial velocity will be zero all right so just take note of this logic so having known this our initial velocity here is our u is 100 meter per second okay so we are looking for it says how will their positions be one second later so we're looking for the distance x okay is unknown so we're going to apply this equation of motion which is v square equals u square plus 2ax seems to dealing with motion so they they just change this equation of motion from uniformly accelerated motion into a motion under gravity so it's going to give us and again the ball the balls are thrown up that means the balls are going against gravity this will be v square equals u square minus 2 gx so let's plug in the values our final velocity is zero square equals 100 square minus two times acceleration due to gravity 
which uh, g is, is 10 meter per second square this is 2 ok times 10 times x we are looking for x basically so we are left with 0 equals 10,000 let me write this way ok 0 equals 10,000 minus now 2 times 10 that's 20x alright we're making progress so now we want to make s wave formula so this we this minus 20x will cross over the quality sign and we change to plus 20x so we are left with 20x equals 10,000 divide both sides by 20 So we have 1000 divided by 2, which will give us 500 meter. So this shows us that the correct option in this question will be option C. X and Y will both be 500 meter from the point of truth. That will be the correct answer to this question. Take note of this particular question. I have often seen it repeated. X and Y will be both be 500 meter from the point of truth. So that's the correct option, option C. Let's write this now, solve the next repeated question. Let's write this. Alright, so for the next repeated question, it's going to be this. It says, a ball is released from a height of 1, 2, 5 meters above the ground. The time taken to reach the ground is what? I think we have solved this question before. Yeah, I think we have solved this. But let's just solve it again. Apply the formula for fine time of light. So T will be square root of 2H over G. Okay, T will be square root of now 125 times 2 you're going to have 250 over acceleration due to gravity is 10 so you're left with square root of 25 which will give you what 5 seconds right option is option A alright so guys before we saw the last question if you are new to our channel ensure that you subscribe to this channel for more of our videos really appreciate this so let's wipe this now and solve the last question before we record this video before we end this video Alright, so the last repeated question we are going to solve with this question. It says, a bullet fire vertically upwards, which is a height of 500 meters, neglecting air resistance. Calculate the magnitude of the initial velocity of the bullet. Okay, so in this question, our parameters will be, we have the distance or the height to be 500 meters. This is zero. Then we have the as I wish the gravity to be 10 meter per second square and we have now final velocity will be 0 meter per second okay because the bullet here is fired particularly upward so we are asked to calculate the initial velocity u is unknown so we are going to apply this equation of motion to solve b square equals u square plus 2 as when you present it to be equation under gravity to now be v square equals u square now vertical upward is going against gravity this will be minus and not plus showing that is going against gravity minus 2 gx so let's plug in the values our final velocity is 0 square equals our u square if we are looking for our u basically minus 2 times 10 times 500 okay so when you build this down you need to have 0 equals u square now 10 times 500 you're going to have 5000 5000 times 2 you're going to have 10,000 2 minus 10,000 Okay, so we want to make u square to the formula. This minus 10,000 will cross over the equality sign. I will change the 10,000. So we're going to have 10,000 equals u square. Now to make u square formula, u square roots both sides. So square roots of 10,000 will give you 100. Okay, so the correct option in this question is option C. 
the initial velocity u will be 100 meter per second okay so that's it for this video hope you learned something interesting from this video let's go to the video guys if you are new to our channel once make sure that you are subscribed to this channel now by hitting the subscribe button for more of our videos also like share and comment on this video let me know if you for what i learned from this video if you seem to have any specific question to ask regarding what i have talked about in this video feel free to be a question in the comment section below and i'll ensure to give you a response also ensure that you are part of, of our channel membership by clicking on the join button to become a member of our channel in our channel membership we give special information to those that are part of our channel membership so ensure that you are part of the community there and you'll be glad you did now click on the screen above and i see you in the next video thanks for watching